I'm one of those people who believes that everyone needs a peer group. And if you're a CEO, they always say it's lonely at the top. Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, we'll take a look at Vistage Worldwide. It's been helping CEO and, and business owners since the 50s. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Okay, we all know bosses and CEOs who have surrounded themselves with yes men and yes women. No one is telling them the truth. And that's why you need a peer group. And one of my favorite peer groups is Vistage. Uh, joining me right now, Bob Whiteman. He is a Vistage chair here right. in North Texas. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for letting me, ha letting me be here. Yeah. Appreciate it. I was impressed with the background. You were telling me off camera it's been around since the 50s? Right, since uh, I think 1957. And it started with an idea that the way to learn about business is to put yourself in the same room with other business operators and find their be best practices, talk about things that are problematic or opportunities. And it was so successful, it expanded to the point where today, worldwide, we're in 17 or 18 countries with 24,000 members. And I've actually had the pleasure of speaking to a couple of Vistage groups here in the North Texas area, and, and it is filled with just wonderful people who, um, to me, it's surprising how people in completely different industries can help each other with just storytelling. Well, it is, and, and I would tell you that, that the most often repeated comment I hear from people who are new to a Vistage group is they, they, the one thing they almost all say is, it's amazing how many other people have the same problems I have. Right. And that's where the power comes from, is, is that it's a matter of, of um, learning from other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm and getting the benefit of what they learn from those mistakes. And some, something about having uh, friends that love you enough to tell you the truth. Sometimes the employee won't tell you the truth, but your friend yes. or advisor will. Yeah, that's exactly right. We, uh, we call that, it's a phrase that I, I, I maybe somebody in Vistage coined. We, we all talk about it. It's called being confrontational. Mm. It's when somebody says something that just doesn't sit right, and you're not going to sort of beat them up over what they said, but rather you're going to let them know that you don't agree. Yes. Or that maybe they're missing something uh, or whatever the, the context might be. But it's, again, it's a carefrontational. It's, it's doing it with that love and appreciation. Yes. Uh, while at the same time being forthright with your suggestion. And to give everyone a sense of, of what they're working with, I went on the Vistage YouTube page and pulled this little clip. Let's roll that now. One thing I found as a CEO, you can be surrounded by people that tell you everything you want to hear. And my group has always been honest, open, and critical, but supportive at the same time. Vistage is a place to validate what you've been thinking, and that is truly rare in this day and age. I owe so much to Vistage because it allowed me to be successful. With SureFlow, it was roughly at $28 million. Within five years, we were at $100 million. I'm the luckiest guy around. A peer group like this is even more important during a pandemic when nobody has a playbook that they can just pull off the wall. I could not agree more. Uh, it's, um, I think, the uh, the Vistage. So I had a Vistage member say this to me. He said, "You know, the value has always been there, but in times like this, to leave Vistage would be like like uh, canceling your insurance in the middle of a hurricane." because it's really that time when everybody's looking for solutions and for answers. And some person, somebody in the room may have gotten a piece of it and someone else gotten another piece and you begin to sort of 
use those as a way to bracket or identify what might work in your organization. So yeah. that's really and powerful. I think, it, it, tell me if I'm wrong, but they also get into personal things if somebody's going through a divorce or the, a death in the family. Uh, just having that peer group there for you in your time of need, right? Well, it's exactly right. It, most people would recognize that, that you can't separate your personal life from your business life mm -hmm. because they are one. And so if, if one is out of balance, uh, it affects the other. And so we, we think it's a mark of the, of the high trust in the room when somebody will come into the group and say, I have something I need to tell you. Mm. And it's personal and it's difficult, but I need to talk about it. Mm. And when they show you that, that, that confidence that they can trust you, it's really powerful. And it's an eye opener for everybody. So, uh, we're not, almost nobody in the room is going to be a clinical psychologist or qualified to really give somebody some, some advice, but we can be good listeners. Yes. We've we, got a little mm -hmm. video of one of your uh, typical meetings. Um, tell us more about the vibe you get when, when you come into a Vistage meeting. It's, it's not, my experience is it's not a, my company is bigger than your company place. Not it's at really all. It's really a sharing yeah. of information and ideas. Absolutely it is. And so um, it, it really is an environment where we, we, create, we try to create something that is, that is, uh, sorry about that, is, no is um, light, okay, mm -hmm. as we kind of get into the day. Uh, and uh, we, we have a process by which we check in, and that's where we give everybody sort of a real quick status on where we are and what's happening. We do that on a business and on a personal and a health level. Mm -hmm. um, and then we begin to talk about, okay, what's working and what's happening and what's going on in everybody's world, and let's start teeing up the items we think we need to talk about within the group. And we've made assemble six or seven of those kind of topics, and then we'll, the members will decide which ones take priority. Occasionally, we'll have a member that says, "Hey, I, I, I've got I got something happened yesterday, and I need to talk about it today." And that'll get, of course, the priority. Mm. But it's yeah, it's really well. Tell me, as a Vistage chair, I know uh, your background is in banking, is right. that right? Mm -hmm. um, tell me what you bring to uh, Vistage uh, in terms of your expertise. Well, so in, in my world, I grew up in banking. Um, in what we used to call a local commercial lending group, which was locally based companies doing a local or regional scope of business, uh, pri most commonly privately held. And that description it almost exactly matches our Vistage members' descriptions. They're outliers, of course, but, uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that that's where I grew up in banking. And so what I loved about my life as a banker was when I got to work with somebody who's an entrepreneur and I found a way to be helpful to them uh, in, uh, in, and usually it was providing a timely yes, uh, but, but, uh, but I got to live vicariously through their successes. Hmm. And I find that in Vistage, I don't do it with, with, with financial capital, but I do it with intellectual capital. Yes. And so what I really love is, is the, the, the success stories that accompany our members um, throughout uh, our relationships, and that's the powerful thing for me. That's wonderful. I know it's invitation only because uh, you guys are very selective about who you invite right. in. How do, if somebody's watching this right now and they want to get plugged in or learn more information, uh, Vistage.com? Well, yeah, just uh, if you want to learn more information, just go to Vistage.com. It's got a great uh, amount of, you, you've seen some videos that you have played here today. Yeah. And so uh, there's some really good information, some feedbacks. We Keep in mind that peer groups are determined by sort of what your level of responsibilities are and in some cases what you do. Mm -hmm. So we have group for trusted advisors, which is different from groups for CEOs. Mm -hmm. And we have groups for um, uh, emerging leaders, uh, which is somebody that you want to begin making that investment in. And we, th we think we're really excited about that program because it's fairly new within Vistage, about two years old. And, um, and it's reaching down into the organization at a deeper level. Uh, and for the millennials who've said, show an interest in me and help me advance my career, mm -hmm. we think this is part of that recipe. But that's really what it's about, is putting people together who, when they're at the table, they believe their peers, notwithstanding the size differential that may occur within their companies. Outstanding. You've been a great guest. We're going to leave with uh, the website. Vistage.com is the website. Bob Whiteman, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. It's you a pleasure. Bet. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you next time.